Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. And today what I'm gonna do is make a glitter box to pop something in for someone for Christmas birthdays or things like that. And I've drawn a little template of what the box is going to look like and where all the folds will be. And this was really simple to draw and I will put an image of it like this. So I've got the image like this and the size is really quite an, an easy size and you can make it whatever size you want. This is five and a half by five and a half size centimeters square okay and that's the lid and these are the sides and the base and again they are are five and a half by five and a half or well, just under five and a half centimeters but if you follow this pattern with the size that you want then you should be fine if not there are lots of patterns on the internet that you can just download and then what i'm going to do is take some gold card like this i think that's gold you'll tell me if it's not and then turn it over and then draw my little pattern on it and then cut it out really easy to do so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then i'll come back and i'll show you how easy it is to put together. Well they've all cut out now so all I need to do is go along where I would have scored and do all my little folds and I like to get all my little folds in first so that they're nice and folded and that's what I do like about glitter cardstock that it folds so easily. Just pop a little bit of hot glue onto where you want these to stick. Don't put too much because you don't want it bulging out and you also don't want it too heavy, too thick, sorry, in this bit here. So all I do is I put a little tiny bead in and then squeeze it together. And then if any comes out while it's still a little bit damp, well, it's not damp, while it's still a bit pliable, I then remove it. So that's the lid and the lid fits together nice and easy. Now the box is a little bit more complicated. So what you need to do is take Take this bit first, so it's the bit without the little ridge cutting it like that. So this bit first, pop that over like that and put that into there like so. Now, you don't need to glue this down if you don't want to. There's no need to at this stage. And these bits here, they just fold around onto there like that. And you'll see that in a second. And then what you do is you take this one here, which is the one with that one on there. You get that bit in there like that is where you could do with having more than one hand and hold that in there like that. So you put that little ridge there into there. You then push that round and that's why it's always important to have your bits all bent over first because then you can easily bend things over and you just need to glue these sides together. So again, I'm popping a little bit of glue along there, not too much. And then I'm lining them up and gluing that down along that little bit there. And then you do the same the other side. Okay, and then these bits are there to fold down so you've got some nice colored sides to it as well and you can push these down and it will sit in there quite neatly but i do like to pop a little bit of glue in there as well now i made this quite a small box but you can make this any size you can just scale it up and make it any size that you wish so i just go round with those bits fold down and push that in and if there's any bits that don't push in i just use my tweezers to push them in and that should fit there nicely like that with your lid fitting nice and snug on there. But I don't like to leave it like that because you've got nice gold sides in there. I like to put a nice gold bottom in there. So what I do is I just take a square of this same colour like this and I mark around it like that with a pencil and then I cut that out either using a knife or a pair of scissors but I'm going to use a knife and I always go on the inside of my pencil line because that will give you the space that you need to pop that in there and once you start making these to be honest once you've got the hang of putting them together you can start knocking out loads of them really really quickly which is nice and then i'll pop that into the bottom there and you don't need to glue that in because if you cut it slightly larger then what will happen is it will go and fit in there neatly and i want to jazz up this lid a little bit and that's easily done by just using a nice little gold bow and again put a bit of blue on the back of that gold bow you don't have to use a gold bow you can use anything you want that you've got you could use some pom-poms some diamonds or whatever you want to use and that fits on there nicely like that. And then you've got a lovely little secure box to give to someone 
with a gift inside at Christmas that you've maybe handmade. And I'm going to be making larger ones of these to fit the candles in that I've made for my son and my family. So I shall make these quite a bit larger and each one of these candles will go into this box. And if you want to know how I make these candles, these scented candles, then I do have a video on that. I'll link it at the end of this video. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and the thumbs up. It really helps my videos to get out there. And if you'd like to buy me coffee just to help support this channel, then the link for that along with the link for everything that I've used today can be found in the description below. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.